Tech workers aren't as rich as they used to be. Stock declines wipe out billions of dollars of paper gains meant for big ticket expenses. And j- just wait until you hear about like just just how hard these poor people have it. No, Tommy York grew up in San Francisco, but was far from his goal of saving enough money to buy a home in the uber pricey market until he landed an engineering job at Google. It was December current year minus two when the shares of Google parent company Alphabet had just hit record highs. Mr. York's pay package included $175,000 stock grants to be paid out over four years. The success uh, of the $2 trillion company would be his too. So then the Federal Reserve started raising interest rates. Tech stocks crashed. Alphabet ended uh, current year minus one down 39%. It's almost as if the economy was, uh, I mean, it, it, it's just correcting to where it should have always been. It's been artificially inflated and propped up for too long. Is anyone surprised that this would happen? For years, tech jobs were a ticket to riches. Much of that wealth has evaporated along with tech companies' boom time gains. Yeah. Much of that wealth was always fake to begin with. It was fake investor Ponzi scheme wealth that's now falling apart. So stock typically makes up a large portion of tech workers' generous pay. Compensation soared when a pivot to remote everything made tech companies uh, the market's darlings. In rever- oh, The reverse, in turn, sent tech shares down sharply. While they have recovered some of this year, they are still well below their current year minus two highs. What? You mean the market can't keep going up forever? Say it ain't so. No, the route has wiped out a big chunk of the wealth employees had planned uh, to tap for big ticket expenses, such as houses and college tuition. It has frozen uh, initial public offerings for businesses, putting sh- startup employees' windfall hopes on hold indefinitely, and has uh, has cost hundreds of thousands of tech workers their jobs. I don't think the good ones are at any risk. A lot of the bloat, though. Yeah, they're gone. In January, days after he returned from bereavement leave following his mother's death, Mr. York, 33 years old, was laid off alongside thousands of other Google employees. In the end, he got about $46,000 from the stock grant. The dreary uh, market for tech uh, talent means he will probably have to take a pay cut at his next job. It happens. Yeah, no, he, he was vastly overpaid. So yeah, now, now the correction comes in. Now, I just wanted to put a down payment on a home in San Francisco, he said. That's the key. In San Francisco. The down payment for a home in San Francisco is way more than what I paid for my entire house where I live. So, so how about you just adjust your expectations? So employees at publicly traded tech companies are typically paid with restricted stock units or RSUs, which are doled out over a number of years. The awards are based on the company's stock price at the time they are awarded. A grant of a fake book parent, uh, a grant of fake book parent meta platform stock valued at fifty thousand uh, when awarded at the end of current year minus two, for example, is now worth one third less. Amazon's stock slump has shaved fifteen to fifty percent off its current year uh, compensation. The Wall Street Journal previously reported uh, uh, under new arrangement with their mortgage lender, uh, wait, intended to increase, wait, intended to ease the uh, pinch of share price decline. Employees in some cities will soon be able to use their stocks as collateral when buying homes. Oh man, there is no way this could go wrong. Oh God, you could even use your stock as. Co- oh man. This is going to bring another crash is coming soon. Oh, my God. No, the company stock often makes up sizable share of tech uh, employees total wealth. So it's not actual wealth. No, many resisted selling shares once they vested, uh, betting that the price would keep going up. Those are the ones that don't know history. The laid off employees with uh, multi-year stock grants were typically only given a portion covering the period they worked at the company. During this uh, great long-term run where the stocks were just going up, equity compensation was a fantastic feature, said Brandon Welch, a financial advisor in San Diego. Then all of a sudden, in current year minus one, it becomes a bug. And this is one of the reasons why, whenever possible, take your payment in money. and, And by God, do not accept the promise of future payment 
for work you do now. So a portfolio that invested equally in each of those so-called FANG stocks, uh, you know, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, uh, Netflix, and Google, would have uh, increased uh, more than fourfold in the five years through uh, current year minus two. At that time, Mr. Welch's young tech clients were laying uh, were laying plans to tap their ballooning company equity to buy homes for their parents or second homes for themselves in locations such as Hawaii. Th this is like the epitome of rich people problems right here, to be honest. They're writing this article and trying to gain sympathy from people who don't even have their first homes, I guess. Uh, the conversations were almost like what you would have with a young athlete after they got drafted into a sports league, Mr. Welch said. Oh, that that's because that's basically what it was. Yeah, the, these tech companies, they overpaid for so long. Uh-huh. I could, I could see that that's actually a pretty good comparison. So Mr. Welch said, now the conversation often revolves around layoffs or belt tightening, he said. Samantha Voigt, a software engineering job, took a software engineering job at Square, now known as Block, in uh, current year minus six after graduating from college. The company's stock increased ninefold during her time there, according to Ms. Voigt, a uh, level of financial security she never expected to have so early in her career. She uh, typically sold her shares as soon as they vested. Now, that's not necessarily a bad idea because, you know, if you keep them in the market, you're basically gambling. But the important thing is what you do with them. So Miss Voigt, 27, paid off her student loans and bought a car in cash. So far, so good. So far, so good. Now she maxed out her 401k and socked 500000 away in her brokerage account. Oh, my God. She had $500,000 of spare cash at age 27. That's impressive. She easily covered twice weekly therapy sessions and costly visits to the hair salon every few months. When she felt burnt out by the pandemic, she took a year off work. <laughs> what kind of a job lets you take a year off and then just lets you come back? Like that, that, that would be my question there. Like if I took a year off work, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a job to come back to. They would have replaced me. So in a group chat with about a dozen friends, mostly in the tech industry, people would share stories of elaborate trips to Japan and second homes near Lake Tahoe. Her new job at a startup pays a higher salary, but her public company stock payouts are gone. In their place, she receives options in private company with an uncertain payout. So I used to be uh, able to kind of spend whatever and it would be fine, Ms. Voigt said. Now I'm having to think about it a lot more. Uh, yeah, going to have to tighten that belt, you know, drag out that 500K, right? She recently started using Mint to track uh, spending and is making small lifestyle changes, such as bathing her dog herself instead of relying on a groomer. I mean, the population of groomers is bigger than ever. Oh, wait, no, different kind of groomer. So the uh, group chat discussion has turned uh, to talk of whose company is doing layoffs. Spoiler alert, all of them. So the tech route has put uh, startup employees in an especially tough spot. Uh, dented, denting into the value of their employers has uh, definitely delayed their IPOs. Yeah, and th this, this has always been a flaw in, in the tech startup industry. You had people that were... I, I guess we called them career entrepreneurs. And it's not as cool as it sounds. Uh, literally what these people do, they start a company for the sole purpose of uh, making it look valuable and selling it to somebody. So they, they'd start one company, they'd work on it for a year or two until they could sell it. They'd sell it and then they immediately start the next one and repeat the process. Of course, you know, when whenever these companies get bought out, like very rarely do the employees get to stick around, or most of them anyway. Yeah, they, they don't care about them. You know, they, they they got theirs. They sold the company. Maybe now, now now that the uh, the investment economy, now that venture capital is finally taking a bunch of hits, maybe we can see these uh, companies instead of focusing on just being bought out and making a quick buck. Maybe we'll see them shift to sustainability. Wouldn't that be something? Now, Ryan Stevens, 39, worked at a Verizon call center in Tennessee before switching to the tech industry in uh, current year minus 14, drawn by workplace perks and higher pay. He was employed in product operations at Google, Facebook, and uh, question and answer site Cora. Now, it was a culture shock in a good way, Mr. Stevens said of his move to the Bay Area. How would that be good? 
Uh, the uh, stock options Stevens collected over the years were less generous than uh, what his software engineering peers earned, but he still hoped they would help him buy a house when he started a family. His goal was 20000 down payment on a $1.5 million property. About 300000 The down payment on his house is more than I paid for my house by quite a bit. <laughs> like the whole house. Not even just the down payment, the whole house. Yeah, how about you just move to a cheaper location? You don't have to be paying $1.5 million for a home. The now father of a two-year-old, Mr. Stevens can't tap the stock options from his six years at Cora, which remains private. Fakebook gave him a grant worth 80000 over four years when he started at the firm in August of current year minus two. Last November, Fakebook laid him off along with thousands of others. After cashing out some shares to cover expenses, Stevens has a stock valued at around uh, $10,000 left. I mean, if, if you're relying on stocks, this is what's going to happen. Like, you know, some people, they'll make out like bandits. Other people will be left holding the sack. That's that's just how the stock market works. It's not like you're all going to you're all going to be winners. That that money doesn't come from uh, from nowhere, you know. And all of that was uh, just supposed to come together magically down the road and set us up for home ownerships. And Mr. Steven said, and uh, makes us feel like we made it. <laughs> that was clearly this guy's life plan right there is I, everything was going to magically come together down the road. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, that, that's my plan for the future. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And at some point, everything is just magically going to come together and work out for me. What could possibly go wrong with this plan? I mean, it seems kind of foolproof to me. Yes, yeah, so it seems like a good plan. Go ahead, try it, see what happens. <laughs>